Hey everyone. Today we're going to learn how to connect to the Instagram API, get an access token, and display our user info. We're going to display out our profile picture, username, the number of posts who we're following, the number of followers we have. By the end of this video, we will have a web page that looks like this. I head over to my userinfo.php file. See, I got my profile picture here, my username, the number of posts I've posted on Instagram, my followers, the number of people I'm following. Let's get to it. First thing we need to do is set up an app on Instagram. You're going to head over to Instagram.com slash developer. Click on the Manage Clients, and you can see the app I'm using right here is called Test App. You're going to register a new client, and then it will show up in this list. We're going to click on the Manage button, and this is where we are going to get the important uh, credentials needed to connect to the API. First important thing to see is the client ID right here. This is one of the things that will be required in the code. After that is the client secret. That will also be required in our code to connect to the API. The last thing to note is in the security tab, the redirect URI. This is also required in your code. You're gonna have to put in a valid URI here where Instagram can redirect back to. The flow that happens here is they hit our website and they click on a link. That link takes them to Instagram and this redirect URI gets passed along when we send the user to Instagram. They log in on Instagram, and then they are redirected back to this redirect URI. The redirect URI we pass along in the code has to match the redirect URI in our app. Now that we have our app set up, we can start coding. First file I'm gonna create is a config file. This file is going to hold the three things that we outlined in the app. It's gonna define the client ID, the client secret, and the redirect URL. That's all there is to the config file. This is just used as a global define where we can include on any page we need. Okay, once we have our config set up, now we need to get an access token. To do that, we're going to create ourselves an index file. There we go, we got our index file alongside our config file. First thing we wanna do is include our config file because we're gonna need access to the credentials from our app. First thing we're gonna check is if there's a code in the URL. Once the user logs in on Instagram and is redirected, Back to the redirect URI you have set in your app, Instagram appends a code variable onto the URL. That code variable is what you will use to generate the access token. To do that, we're going to set up a curl call to the Instagram API asking for an access token. So what we have defined here is an array of parameters that we are going to send along to Instagram when we request the access token. We have all of our app credentials here, and along with the app credentials, we're going to pass along the code that Instagram sent us back. This is how they can verify it, that it's coming from us, and it can give us a valid access token. Now we can set up our curl call. There we have it. We've set up our curl call to the access token endpoint. This is the endpoint you have to hit in order to request an access token from Instagram. We are going to, going to be posting the params here to this endpoint. That's why we set these options here for curl to uh, request type post, and we've set the post fields to the array we created above. Then we get our response back. We JSON decode it into a nice PHP array, and we're going to dump that out into the browser. If the user gets to this page and they're not logged in and they don't have an access token or there is no code in the uh, URL, we have to display a link for them. So this is the link that is going to take the user to Instagram to authorize through Instagram with our app and get redirected back to our page with that code in the variable. A few things to note here is we pass along the client ID our Instagram client ID and our redirect URL when the user clicks on this link. This is where I was saying that we pass along a redirect URI here and this redirect URI that we pass along has to match what's in our app dashboard. Otherwise, you're gonna get an error. Well, here's the code snippet that will get us our access token. If not, we'll send them to Instagram. The user will log in. They'll be redirected back here with a code variable in the URL 
and then we will get the access token. So either way, we win. Let's get ourselves an access token. All right, I'm gonna head over to my website and we're gonna hit our index file. There's our h1 tag, Instagram, and our link to get code. Because there's no code variable up here in the URL, that means we're not coming from Instagram. I'm gonna click on get code. It's going to take me to Instagram. Since I'm already logged in on Instagram in this other tab for developers, it's gonna automatically log me in and automatically send me back to the redirect directory. And like we coded it, we're printing out the array of information that we get back with our access token. This is what we will use to make our requests to other endpoints on Instagram to actually get information such as our user info. So I'm going to copy this access token and we're going to actually add this access token to our config.php file. Now that we have our access token, we can go ahead and start coding the user info.php. Create user info.php here. We're going to be creating another curl call to Instagram, but this time it's going to be a little easier. It's going to be a git request. We can see all the endpoints over here on Instagram click on endpoints, and I'm going to click on the users. And we're going to be using this first one right here. See, it tells us it's a get request, and it tells us the endpoint. This is where it's going to require the access token that we just generated. If you expand the response, you can see all the data that you're going to get back on the user. Here we got username ID, full name, profile picture, blah, blah, blah. First, we need to include our config file, though. That way we have access to our access token defined. Now we're going to copy over the curl call from our index.php and just modify it a little bit. So curl init, this is where it's going to take in the endpoint from the Instagram endpoints documentation. I'm going to paste that right here, and I'm going to replace this access token with our Instagram access token. We're going to leave the return transfer to true. This is a git request. So for git requests, there's no post fields. That means we can delete the post request and the post fields parameters. We're going to leave this on. Our response should be the same. I'm going to put another check on here. This is going to just be a check so we can show the PHP array or not. So if we have debug in the URL, we can print the response out from Instagram, the raw response. Otherwise, we're not going to show it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an image, get the image. Well, we're going to get everything here from our response. So right here, we're accessing everything's in the data array. If we look back at Instagram here, we're going to data and then we're accessing the profile picture. So we're placing the profile picture right into the image source. And we can do the following for the rest. Access the response data to display everything else we need. We've displayed the username, the number of posts, followers, and the following for the user. Head over to the browser and hit our user info file. And there we have it. We got our image, our username, posts, followers, and the following. All the info we need. The last thing is the debug. So if we put debug on the URL here, as long as that exists in the URL, we're going to print out the raw data that we got back from Instagram, just like it's specified back in the Instagram documentation. Get rid of that debug and we're back to just our user info. Nice and clean. Well, that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. I'll catch you later.